The formulas block allows you to do complex operations with values inside Linebot, like you would do on a spreadsheet or Excel document. The results of the operation are stored in an outcome variable that can later be used in the bot. As you can see here, this is the bot that we will build together along this series. For this example, we are going to make a bot for a burger restaurant that does home delivery. To understand it better, we could divide it in three different parts. The first part is where the client chooses the burger with the different toppings. The second part is where we apply a discount depending on the client's membership. And the third part is where we collect the client's information for home delivery. Formulas is a tool that enables you to complete many different tasks and can give a whole new power to your bot. In this case, we use formulas not only to calculate the final price of the selected burger and toppings, but also to apply the discount and to make sure that the delivery information collected from the client is correct. We're going to use math formulas such as sum, subtract, product, quotient, as well as some string formulas such as length and split. Finally, we will validate the customer's phone number with regex text. All right, so after we added the welcome message, we can start out by asking which type of burger the client wants. With the buttons block, we will give him four different options. The first option is the American burger. The second option, the French burger. The third option, the Italian burger. And the last and fourth option, the Spanish burger. For each burger, you can add a picture with a description. Each burger will have a different price, so we can add a set variable block to each different output. For the American burger, we will say that the variable add burger price is 7. For the French burger, 9. For the Italian, 8. And for the Spanish burger, 7. Now, Let's add the extras for the burger. We want the client to know that there's a maximum of three toppings and that each topping has an extra cost of one euro. Like before, we will add a buttons block with all the different extra toppings, like onions, bacon, pickles, and so on. It's important that this buttons block has the multiple choice activated so that they can add more than just one topping. Now, it can also happen that the client doesn't want any toppings, so we have to give him this option too. For the no extras path, we will add a set variable block and create the variable add extra price. In this case, add extra price equals zero. We will create the same set variable for the default path for all the other options, but change the value to 1. What we want to do now is to limit the choice to just 3 extras, and we can do it with formulas. We know that the buttons block on multiple choice generates a string variable with all the chosen options separated by commas. Example would be onions, comma, pickles, comma, tomatoes. First thing we need to do is to separate the options with the split formula. Remember to always start with a capital letter. Let's type split, parenthesis, add extra, and so on. Doing so, the formulas block will split the string in different pieces based on a delimiter. This delimiter in this case is the comma. Now, we also need to know the number of extras selected by the user. We need to add the length formula to the split in order to calculate the number. As you can see, you can use these two formulas separated or nest them like we're doing. When you nest formulas, it's important to always put the parentheses. Finally, let's create the numeric output variable add number of extras. After the formulas block, we need to add a condition. If the variable add number of extras is greater than 3, the flow will follow the green path and the client will have to select the toppings again. If the client chooses 3 or less toppings, 
he did the right thing, and the flow will follow the red path and continue. Right after, we're going to add a formulas block to calculate the pricing. With the product formula, we can multiply the add extra price variable with the add number of extras variable. The output option will be named add extra price subtotal. Now, here comes the part where we ask for what sauce the client wants in the burger. We will add a buttons block with multiple choice activated, as we let the client choose up to two different sauces in the burger. Each sauce will have an extra cost of 0.5. Like with the toppings, we will add two set variable blocks. We create the numeric variable add sauce price. So if the client doesn't want any sauce, sauce price equals 0. Otherwise, sauce price equals 0.5. Now, just as we did with the extras, let's use the length split formula to know how many options the client chose. And with a condition, split the float to make sure the client didn't choose more than two. All right, with other formulas block, we will multiply the add sauce price with the add number of sauces and create the output variable add source price subtotal. Now what we want to do is sum all the prices with a sum formula. Create the output variable add price no discount. This is going to be our base price. Let's type sum, add burger price, add extra price subtotal, add sauce price subtotal. Now let's just add a message showing the chosen burger combination and the price. Let's say your order add burger with add extras comma add sauces and below add price no discount. So last message we wrote was to show a recap of the order to the client. What we want to do now is to ask the client if he has any discount. For this example, we came up with three different memberships. We have the premium that gives a 50% discount, the family for large families that gives a 30% discount, and the gold that gives a 10% discount. To do that, we will add a button block with three options plus another option for the clients that don't have a card. Now, we want to connect each button to a set variables block in which we create the variable at percentage. Put the respective discount values, 50, 30, 10 or 0. For the clients that have a membership, we can write a message showing them the discount. Now, what we need to do is to apply the discount. It's simple. To calculate the final price with the discount, first we need to divide the percentage by 100. The formula will be like this. And the output variable will be add discount decimal. Next, we need to multiply the initial price with the decimal discount. 
The formula will be product, open parenthesis, add price, no discount, comma, add discount decimal, and close parenthesis. Here, the output variable is going to be add discount. Finally, you need to subtract the discount from the initial price. Type subtract, open parenthesis, add price, no discount, comma, add discount, close parenthesis. And we can create the output variable at final price. What's great about formulas is that we can have all of these operations that we just made in just one block. Let's do that. We need to transform the three formulas into one nested formula. We need to start from the last one, subtract, then put the second inside the first and the third inside the second. Always using parentheses. So it would be something like this. The output variable is going to be add final price. Okay, so now that we have the final price, we might as well show it to the client and let him decide if he's ready to order or not with a yes no block. If the client is ready, we might want his contact information for the delivery. We will ask him for the full name, address, and phone number. For the phone number, we could use the phone block, but now we're using the text question because we want to validate the format with the formula. We want to make sure that the phone number the client provides is from our region, in this case, Spain. So that way we can contact him if there is a problem. To do that, we will use a regular expression, or better known as regex. Regex, basically, is a sequence of characters that defines a search pattern. We will use this one that identifies if the number is from Spain. Type regex text, open parenthesis, paste the regular expression, comma, add phone number and close parenthesis. For the output variable, we will create one called add regex text phone. In this case, it's very useful to use a test value to know if our regular expression is working properly. Under the variables menu, go to add phone number and try out different numbers. The result of our test is going to show here. As you can see, for a Spanish number, the result is true. Another thing that we might want to do is to change the block outputs to true-false instead of success-fail. So if the phone matches with regex, the flow will follow the green path, and if it doesn't match, meaning that the phone number is not correct, it will follow the red path, and we will ask the user to type again a correct Spanish number. The green path will follow with a recap of the order with the contact information. Finally, you can use Stripe here if you want to add a real transaction, but we're not going to do that in this example. Okay, so the bot is finished. Now let's see if it works. We will go with the French burger that costs 9 euros. I will just add onions and tomatoes. That's 2 euros more, so that makes it 11. Now for the sauce, I will try to add more than 2. Let's see what happens. Okay, an error message tells me that maximum 2 sauces. Great. For now, I will only have ketchup. That's 0 0.5 euros plus the 11 from before, the price is 11.50. Now, for the discount, I will try the premium membership that gives me a 50% discount. Great, 
the 50% of 1150 is 575. Now, let's finish the order and type name, address and phone number. For the phone number, let's try a random number that is not from Spain. As we can see, it's not working. Now, let's add a random Spanish number. And as we can see, it works. So that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.